This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. Now, if so many signs are pointing to an economy that's on the mend, what's holding consumers back? Did this recession somehow change the psychology of shopping? Matthew Rubel is the chairman and the CEO of Collective Brands. They're the name behind Payless a shoe, shoe Source. Uh, Matthew, thank you for coming in. Thanks very much for, for joining us. Talk a little bit about the psychology of, of the consumer right now. When you take a look at the people buying shoes, has it changed? The consumer is very discriminating in what they're looking for. They truly are looking for value. Now, that doesn't mean price only, because value can come at a pay less level where you're really getting something at twelve, fifteen, eighteen dollars, or it could come in, you know, getting the best running shoe but getting it for seventy dollars, um, something that's highly technical with like our Saucony brand. So, it's not just about price. It's really about price and value and innovation at the same time. Does that also imply the education of the consumer? Well, yeah, the consumer isn't going to buy basics. I mean, the consumer has to kind of have a reason to buy something today. So there is no longer just let me go out and let me fill my closet. There's I've got to have a need. And it's not as emotional. It is a little more rational. All right. If it's a little bit more rational, what, tell us what's happening on the rational side of margins, for example. Have you been able to maintain them through the economic downturn? Well, la last year, I think there was some challenges for everybody in maintaining margins because your inventories had built up based on what the sales trend was. And, uh, and with consumer demand dropping off almost a cliff in the third quarter had last year. Had you ever year. seen anything like that? No, that's the first time that I've seen that in my 30 years in, in retail where there was such a start other than 9-11, which was an event-driven thing. And having said that, though, are, 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 is the consumer now coming back and establishing a more normal pattern, at least a pattern that you can understand in, in the shoe business? Well, I, I think we kind of break it out into kid shoes and then what I'd call adult shoes. And kid shoes they continue to change size. They don't care about a recession. Kids' feet grow. So we are seeing a more normalized pace in our kids' shoe business and a collective brands. Between Stride Right and Payless, we do about a billion dollars. In the adult footwear market, we're seeing the women become a little more discriminating, and the guys are just pulling back. They like to buy shoes about once every 18 months, not every 18 years, like some people I know. Um, and they, uh, uh, they, they've gotten more conservative on the male side. Um, moms, though, they're buying for kids. All right, let's step back. Tell me about the business. What about input costs? Have they changed over the last, let's say, six to eight months? Well, the good news is the cost of goods um, is headed in the right direction. So we are seeing that with commodity prices coming down, um, as well as some processes that we've put in our company, that we are able to move our costs down in terms of what we're actually purchasing for the product. And our team at Payless has done a great job at that, and we're rolling that out into our other divisions. That was not the case um, when gas prices soared and oil prices were high and currency rates were fluctuating and labor rates out of Asia were very high. What about the real estate market right now? I mean, you've got to be sensitive to what's going on in commercial real estate always looking for good locations are you finding that those are available and that the financing is there well we, we generally will do leases within strip centers shopping centers etc we have about 20 percent renewal rates per year so we have 5,000 stores we're renewing about a thousand a year right now we are able to negotiate anywhere from a 15 to a 20 percent reduction in our cost of real estate on those things that we're renewing so we're we're averaging down so we're bringing those costs down, and it really does lead us toward a better business model. I was going to say, does that drop right really very closely to the bottom line as a result? Absolutely. We've got to lower our fixed costs. The footwear industry did $47 billion in 2007 um, in the United States. This past year, $42 billion. So people bought less. So we've got to bring our costs of overhead down to match the shrinking marketplace size for consumers. What about the cost of capital? I mean, we've heard all about uh, various uh, scenarios where banks are not as willing to lend. We've got non-banks coming into a lot of the industry groups. Are you seeing that capital is starting to flow again and that you're actually able to access money? Capital is flowing. The good news 
purpose is we don't need any. So we are a strong cash flow generator and have a long-term capital structure in place at CBI that means that really for the next three, four years, we don't need to go to market. However, the bankers who have come to us, they came to us a year ago and they said, we hope you don't need to go to market because we have no money. And now they're coming to us saying, if you'd like to go to market, we can get it for you. And the price of that is coming down. All right. What about expansion overseas? I know that you've been doing some work there. Tell us about where you see some growth. Well, I think the key is, is that the U.S. market is going to, until employment, real employment growth comes back, we're going to see a challenged U.S. marketplace. So we as a company are seeking growth elsewhere. We just signed a deal in Russia uh, for Payless to expand over there on a franchise basis. We've taken our Saucony, our Sperry Top Cider, Keds, and Stride Right brands. We now have them in 83 different countries countries and are expanding them with our primary focus there um, really being in Europe. Talk about the whole issue of brands and global branding. Is that really the future of, of footwear business? Is it really about the brand? Well, for U.S. companies in the consumer products business or trend-related consumer products, we must expand beyond the U.S. marketplace, and we must set ourselves up to do that. And that's because basic math shows you that the U.S. will not grow at the rate of the developing markets around the world, and you must be in the faster growth marketplaces in order to run a viable business. I want to thank you very much, Matthew Rubel, coming in, the head of Payless uh, Shoe Source, uh, really collective brands. Appreciate your insight into the world of, of footwear and into the general world of retailing and expanding overseas. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.